Welcome to Tea to Green, brought to you by Cleary Building Corp, American Family Insurance, Bruner Realty, Callaway Golf, the first tee of South Central Wisconsin, and Middleton Ford. Want more Tea to Green TV? Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for episodes, bloopers, pro tips, and more. Welcome back to another episode of Tea to Green. I'm still Van, and you are? Still Derek. Okay, we've got a jam-packed show today. Greg Gard, Wisconsin men's basketball coach, going to do a piece on him about his golf outing here at Blackhawk. Yep. A lot of people love to play with Coach Gard. Easy money, they call him. <laughs> I just think it's a great event in general. I don't know about the easy money there part yet. Okay, I might learn this year. There, there you go. There you go, if we're lucky. And then also, it's all about the roots of the game. Junior golf, we're going yeah. to talk to Erica Perkle as yep. well as the first tee of South Central Wisconsin. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, this Erica Perkle has really added a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy, and I'll tell you this, she undermarried. I don't know what she was doing there, <laughs> but you know, with that and everything we're doing with the first tee of South Central Wisconsin, a lot of good things happening with junior golf. We've got it, pardon the pun, teed up, and it's Tee to Green TV. Are you tired of the wrong builder leaving a bad taste in your mouth? Cleary only uses the best products, so your building is made to last. Best in class engineering and one-on-one -on -one customer service, that is what makes a Cleary building exceptional. Cleary Building Corp, over 100,000 buildings and counting since 1978. Locally owned and a family dealership, that's Middleton Ford. For over seven decades, Middleton Ford has been there for thousands of customers that have now become a part of their family. It starts with outstanding service and customer satisfaction. New or used, fleet vehicles, hybrids, or the popular F-150 truck at Middleton Ford, they'll treat you right. From the moment you step onto their lot and into their showroom, you can start and end your search for the right vehicle at Middleton Ford. MiddletonFord.com. Remember, if you don't see the Middleton Ford logo, you paid too much. Next on West One, we have... Looking for a game? Now you can join Sherry Steinhauer, Jerry Kelly, Andy North, and Steve Stricker and become part of the Champions Club of the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. Go to thefirsttscw.org or ask about us at your favorite golf club. Join Sherry, Jerry, Andy, and Strick in the Champions Club. I'm Sherry Steinhauer. Join me and support the First Tee of South Central Wisconsin. You're up. PGA Junior League Golf is a fun and innovative program designed to introduce kids to golf. So much fun. It was really fun. It's really fun. Boys and girls age 13 and under of all skill levels wear numbered jerseys and play as a team in a fun, social, and inclusive environment. Accomplishing something as part of a team is more fun than, than doing it on your own. To learn more about PGA Junior League Golf, go to PGAJLG.com. You can talk about technology and go on about your innovation. You can tell golfers you're the longest and claim to be the best. Or you can build something that's truly epic. Introducing Jailbreak. It's redefined how the head and face react at impact. It's transformative speed and it's only in Epic. From Callaway. Welcome back to Tee to Green. I'm Derek Schnarr, and I am joined by the Executive Director of the First Tee, Joe Lanus, and the new Program Director, A.J. Crea. Joe, let's start with you. A year ago, we sat in this room, and I didn't know what was going on, but a lot has happened since then. Where are we at today? Well, the gala you mentioned was in December of 2016. Obviously, we're very fortunate to have uh, Sherry Steinhauer, Jerry Kelly, Andy North, and Steve Stricker our champions for kids. They really help us at that event and they help us um, grow the brand of the first tee. Uh, we recently hired AJ Crea um, in January. He's been a great asset to the team. Uh, we expanded a couple uh, sites this year. I'm sure AJ will talk about that, but um, we're, we're expanding our program offerings. Um, we're working with our affiliates to try to um, incorporate more first tee, work with them, try to grow the game while growing kids at the same time. So we have a lot going on right now. Um, Nate's doing a tremendous job with our learning centers. Um, so we have a lot to be thankful for and there's a lot of kids that are being positively impacted. There's a lot of moving parts with the first tee. You're doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes and I know something you talk a lot about are your partnerships that the first tee has. Let's talk about those a little bit. Sure. Yeah, partnerships are critical. I mean, we can't 
without our partnerships, we can't have the level of success that we have. I mean, we have 13 affiliates, uh, site locations that are partners on the golf side uh, that helps us deliver the first tee curriculum to these kids. Uh, we have partnerships. We have 30 schools uh, that are partnered with us for the National School Program, and we partner with a lot of agencies. So we, we bring our uh, curriculum and the game of golf to kids that may not ordinarily have access to the game. So um, partnerships are critical. Without them, we can't, we can't do what we do here in South Central Wisconsin. So, AJ, now you come into the scene. The first tee was kind of down and out years ago. It's really been on an upswing, and now they've hired you, and you have a little bit of a different background than what they've had in the past before real golf-oriented. Let's talk a little bit about where you come from and kind of what you bring to the table for this organization. Sure. So I have over 18 years of youth development and nonprofit uh, experience. So mostly with the Boys and Girls Club and in different areas around the country. And what I find intriguing about this is that blend of golf and, and youth development. We've got great golf professionals that know the game of golf, but really maybe youth development isn't their thing or have a lot of experience with it. And what I can bring to the table is how to seamlessly connect those two and really create more than just golf lessons and more than golf activities. We actually create a program at this point. Love it. So how have these first two months gone? I mean, you kind of hit the ground running here. How's it gone for you? Sure. It's gone really fast. Uh, okay. There's a lot of onboarding, a lot of information, uh, getting used to everybody and getting a chance to really meet all of our partners and affiliate, as Joe mentioned. Um, I got an opportunity to go down to the first tee of Augusta, Georgia after my first 30 days and create a level one uh, coach training, um, which also provided a lot of context and also contacts that I can use to help better our agency. One last thing to talk about here with you guys is what excites you about 2017, the progress you guys have made, but what, what are you really looking forward to this year? So what I'm really excited is really just becoming more familiar with the program and our affiliates. We're working with nine different golf courses. Wow. Um, it's great. We're all the way up from Janesville up to Wisconsin Rapids. Um, and we get a chance to affect a lot of different lives, um, help parents out during the summer by providing quality programs. Um, for me, what excites me is the potential to keep growing, um, both in quality, safety, um, and also just growing the game of golf. Yeah, it's awesome. And with all the fundraising you guys have done, the first thing that I'd like to do is thank both of you for your contributions back to Tee to Green so that we can continue to provide an opportunity for the kids to not only get things, but to then give things back to the community. And I know we'll have a couple guys from your organization coming up in some other shows that are going to talk about the give back and the new programming and things like that. I can't thank you guys for what you're doing. You've really created some nice synergy here in, in Madison, which we needed on the golf front. But welcome to the show. Yeah, Joe, it. wonderful job you're doing. And we'll be back with Tee to Green. Stability and customer service. This is what is behind every Clary Shamrock. From the best warranties in the business to award-winning customer service, a Clary Shamrock means we stand behind every facility we build. From a machine shed to a golf resort and everything in between, start building today at ClaryBuilding.com. Clary Build with Shamrock, the Shamrock Supplied. When we decided to sell our home, we didn't really know where to start, so we contacted Bruner Realty to help make the process less stressful. Our Bruner Realty agent came in, learned about us and our home, created a customized marketing plan, and in just five days had accepted off for our home. Our agent always kept us in the loop, and the service they provided was both professional and personal. We would definitely recommend Bruner Realty to anyone looking to buy or sell their home in the future. We don't have a lot of grocery stores here in our neighborhood, and we want our neighbors to have access to good things at affordable prices. The only thing easy in our community is fast food. <laughs> wow. well, hello. We're here to offer some help. Welcome. Retire in here, Doc. Yeah. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Who doesn't need a sweet potato that size? They took the time to care what our project was about. There you go. And that was something that I'll truly treasure. Nevada Bob's, your game, your store. Number one in service selection and always at the best price. The Payroll Company, your source for the best in class HCM technology, HR outsourcing, and retirement plan administration. 
Welcome back to Tita Green. Uh, you wouldn't know it, but it's a great day in Wisconsin for spring. We're joined now by Greg Gard, head basketball coach at the University of Wisconsin, here for your outing. How special is it for you to have kind of the gathering of, of the people that throw and show their support to Wisconsin basketball? Well, it's obviously an extremely important van from a standpoint of they get a chance to commiserate and, and play golf together here. Obviously, well, hopefully the rain will hold off for us. We're playing a terrific course here at Blackhawk, but also just the chance to be around them and, and reminisce about the previous season, talk about that, but also look forward to next year. A very pointed question. Yeah. Who's better or who's worse at golf? Bo? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I haven't played with Greg before, so I'm not sure. Is it part of the responsibility when HC is next to your name, when all the, okay, you're going to get this guy, you're going to get this guy, what about this guy, this junior college transfer? Do you just, that comes with the territory, doesn't it? It does, and I really have learned to embrace that and enjoy that and the conversations we have. And, and obviously, I, I'm as open as I'm allowed to be. Sure. And really, uh, I know they take a vested interest in it because our fans are extremely important. Our supporters are, are vital to our success. Obviously, recruiting is too, and they have a, there's an interest there that goes both ways. So as much as I can share with them, I definitely do. And uh, not that I'm really giving away too much insider right. information, but uh, we, we do get a chance to talk back and forth. Does it allow you, I mean, you, you're a competitive guy. I know that right. as well as anybody. But does it allow you, when you have the opportunity to play, whether it's just a, a routine round or something like that, allow some of your own competitive juices to flow a bit? It does, it does. There's definitely, I'm probably not good enough the standpoint uh, of to be really be competitive with it, but it does, I play just well enough to uh, keep coming back. You know, not well, not poor enough to throw away my clubs, but not good enough that I still got to keep my day job. The competitive spirit that we all, I think, have, especially whether it's a game of golf or table tennis or whatever, but when you see it out there and maybe, you know, you're grinding over a 15-foot free throw, you're grinding over a six foot putt that means either the difference between a birdie or a par or a par or a bogey. I mean, do you see that that kind of oozes out of his veins a absolutely, little bit? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, any coach that I've been around, Coach Ryan, prior to that, but they, they all have that competitive spirit. I want to put you on the spot. Who's better? or worse at the game of golf. Bo? I'm not saying. I'm not. I or you're <laughs> running for political office here, Johnny. You can't say that. <laughs> the, the Bo's, you know, he was, he, Bo's a good player. And uh, Greg is the same. Today is going to be a different uh, animal, as you know, with the weather conditions and all that stuff. But uh, uh, I'd say they're fairly close. You got enough money invested, you don't want to throw with those clubs. But I know a guy by the name of Derek Schnorr, he can help your game, okay? I know. I just got a chance to meet him. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hopefully, uh, if he can help me, he can help anybody because uh, I'm a little, uh, it looks good, um, but it doesn't always, the results don't always uh, come out the same as, as well as it looks. Uh, That's with true of every Linkster that are around there, okay? Hey, thanks for your time. Hey, Let's have you, a great babe. day today. Tita Green TV will continue in just a moment. My name is Derek Schnarr, founder of the Balance and Believe Foundation. Years ago, I started this foundation to help promote junior golf while raising money for the community. Throughout the summer, you'll see lots of different golf tournaments at our golf courses here in Madison. Thankfully, our golf professionals donate those golf courses, so as the kids play, they're raising money for the community. If you'd like to help these children raise some money and make a difference in the community, please go to our website and make a donation. Here's your Tita Green Pro Tip. Once again, it is time for a tip from a pro brought to you by the Wisconsin PGA. And today we're going to talk kind of uh, two different things about flighting your wedges down. What does that mean? Well, a lot of players, when they go out and they're trying to hit the green from inside of 100 yards, you see a lot of full swings and you see a lot of really high golf shots. So once again, I'm with Zach. And one of the things we're going to talk about is this. When you are inside of 100 yards, the most important part is to not make a full swing, but it's important to control your golf ball. So when Zach is going to hit a pitching wedge right now, one of the things you're going to see is how he flights it down, what the process is to get set up to do that, and you're also going to see a very abbreviated golf swing. And the reason why is this. If you swing 100% with a lofted golf club, it generally means the ball will climb the face or it's going to be spinning a ton. And when that happens, it spins so much that any miss hits, curvature will be very exaggerated. So it's really important for players to learn to play at about 75%. It also means that if a sand wedge, say, goes 75 yards for you or 100 yards, 
I would never want any student to make a 100% golf swing and try to hit a sand wedge as hard as possible. So for this drill right here, you're going to see Zach take a pitching wedge. He's going to make kind of like a 75% or a three-quarter golf swing, or even in some instances, a half swing. What that does is it reduces the spin of the golf ball. It allows the ball to come off the club face a little bit lower, and it also allows him to control what the golf ball is going to do because of the things that I just mentioned. So go ahead and set up to the golf ball here. Really good right there. All right, let's do another one here. So a couple of things we got to make sure of. Go ahead and set yourself up again. So as the ball position actually moves back, you're going to see that the shaft of the golf club is leaning forward. He's also going to have his left foot a little bit behind him so that it looks as though his stance would be a little bit open or more to the left of the target. So we would call that open. Then you'll see his hips a little less open and you'll see his chest almost right on top of the golf ball. So even though the golf ball is getting back, his chest is turned. If you could imagine a flashlight attached to his chest, he's got it turned so it points almost right at the golf ball and he covers it. Here we go. Beautiful golf shot right there. So for those of you at home, if you would normally hit a pitching wedge, say 120 yards, try hitting a nine iron back your swing down so it's not as long as aggressive and you'll still get the same distance on it but the ball flight will come down it won't be spinning as much and those full swings are not helping you hit the ball closer to the hole three quarter golf swings inside 100 maybe even 125 yards control the flight of that golf ball control the spin of it and i promise you you're going to start to hit it a lot closer to the green or a lot closer to the pin and that's a tip from a pro brought to you by the wisconsin pga Before I joined the first tee, the only sport I ever did was surfing channels. I used to get seed and D's. Now I'm planning for a BA in history. I've learned a lot at the first tee. I even learned how to play golf. Put a golf club in a young person's hands and watch them grow. At the first tee, we instill values like confidence, judgment, respect, and integrity. Values they learn from golf, but take with them for the rest of their lives. Find out how you can get involved today. It seems like every financial company talks about investing your way to wealth. But what about protecting what you're building right now? At Northwestern Mutual, we know the importance of doing both. We combine personalized investment solutions that help grow your wealth with world-class insurance that protects what matters most to you. This whole picture approach is just one of the reasons 96% of our clients stay with us year after year. At Northwestern Mutual, we help you live life differently. PGA Junior League Golf is a fun and innovative program designed to introduce kids to golf. So much fun. It was really fun. It's really fun. Boys and girls age 13 and under of all skill levels wear numbered jerseys and play as a team in a fun, social, and inclusive environment. Accomplishing something as part of a team is more fun than, than doing it on your own. To learn more about PGA Junior League Golf, go to PGAJLG.com. Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp. Welcome back to Tita Green. I'm Vance Dow, joined by Erica Perkle. You are the WPGA Player Development Coordinator. You cut your teeth in the Junior Foundation. Talk about your evolution from starting from there to getting to the position you now hold. Sure. I started playing golf when I was super young, and it, it's great because once you turn kind of eight, nine, ten years old, you're given these opportunities mm -hmm. through the Junior Foundation to kind of take your first step in terms of competition, which was something that I really wanted to focus on. So, you know, slowly but surely started playing in lots of tournaments, which ultimately led me to earn a college golf scholarship at Valparaiso University after having a, a good uh, high school career mm -hmm. at Arrowhead High School. And then 
you know, going through college, I knew that I had to do something with, with my life and my career to give back to the game that gave me so much as that young little Erica, sure. you know, playing growing up. So um, after I played college golf, I was an assistant at Ozaki Country Club, got into the PJ uh, program in, in order to become a PJ professional, and, and uh, that kind of led me to where I am today. Like a fish. When did you get hooked? Oh so gosh. To speak? Well, I got hooked because of my dad and okay. my grandfather. It was a very family oriented thing. Golf was a huge part of our family. It's how my parents met. My parents, um, my dad had never played golf until he met my mom. Their first round was at Odana Hills in oh, Madison. Sure. So oh, well. um, it's just a huge part of our family. To be able now to be a part of, of, a, of an organization in the state and then like you alluded to earlier to be able to give back to the game and then obviously get younger Erica's and what have you into the game of golf how gratifying is that for you it's so gratifying um, when I run you know our drive chip and putt qualifiers or help Andy out with his junior tournaments and I see you know the little girl seven eight nine I, I'm instantly taken back in time thinking oh mm -hmm. my gosh this was once me, you know, what can I do to make their experience better? You know, can I talk to their mom or their dad and kind of talk about what maybe their goals are for their son or daughter in terms of maybe playing high school or college golf? You had the good fortune to continue your, your career in college at Valpo. Uh, how do you still satisfy your competitive juices, so to speak? Well, my husband, who actually works for the State Golf Association, okay. comes from a very similar background in terms of golf and it was a big part of his family we are probably the two most competitive people that <laughs> I know that I you know compare ourselves to he and I get as many rounds as we can in the summer and I beat him once and I can talk straight smack up. about it straight straight up wow, but it's a lot of fun so his brother's actually really competitive they both obviously being amateurs still play quite a bit in the amateur circuit but Anytime we can get a game going amongst us three, it's fun. This is a unique year in the state of Wisconsin. The first ever U.S. Open at Aaron Hills, year two of the AmFam Senior Championship at University Ridge. Uh, we've had PGA Championships at Whistling Straits. Uh, the, the Ryder Cup will come up there in a couple of years. Uh, do you see the game continuing to grow thanks to all of these big events, so to speak? Absolutely. 2017 is going to be such a great year for golf in Wisconsin. And, and the cool thing too about these junior events that we put on, you know, Drive, Chip and Putt, PJ Junior League, Andy's Junior Foundation stuff, we have events where these big name events are being played. You know, University Ridge is where a Drive, Chip and Putt sub-regional is. As you and I both know, they just started their, their Champions Tour debut with the AmFam Insurance Championship. So it's really cool that these kids at such young age are being exposed to these these golf courses where major championships are being hosted. It's, it's just great for the kids. And I only see it growing in, in that sense too, kind of highlighting Wisconsin. I can say firsthand your enthusiasm is infectious. Thank you for joining us, Erica. Yes. We appreciate it, all right? Thank you. Tita Green will continue in just a moment. When I wake up in the morning, love, and the sunlight hurts my eyes, and I look at you. <laughs> all right. Right with me. Just one look at you. And I know it's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be a lovely day. A lovely day. As first time home buyers, working with Bruner Realty was an incredible experience. In this market, buying a home can be really stressful. But our agent was professional, was available 24-7, and worked really hard to get us our dream home, all while staying within our budget. Our agent worked around our difficult schedules and always put our needs and priorities above his own. If anyone we know is looking to buy or sell a home in the future, we wouldn't hesitate to recommend Burner Realty. Locally owned and a family dealership, that's Middleton Ford. For over seven decades, Middleton Ford has been there for thousands of customers that have now become a part of their family. It starts with outstanding service and customer satisfaction. Newer used fleet vehicles, hybrids, or the popular F-150 truck at Middleton Ford, they'll treat you right. 
From the moment you step onto their lot and into their showroom, you can start and end your search for the right vehicle at Middleton Ford. MiddletonFord.com. Remember, if you don't see the Middleton Ford logo, you've paid too much. I was one of the first to play Chrome Soft. It's long, extremely soft, and unbelievably easy to control. I could tell right away it was a different kind of ball. But some golfers have not even tried Chrome Soft. Let me ask you something. If you're not willing to change, how can you expect to get better? Chrome Soft, it's the ball that changed the ball. T to Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp. Here's your weekly T to Green fitness tip. Welcome back. Christina Schnarr with the Balance and Believe Golf Academy. I'm here today with Zach Goggert, our pro golfer. Today we're going to go over a squat with an overhead press. So we're combining an upper body and a lower body exercise. Zach is going to take it down into a squat with his hands over the shoulders. As he comes up, he's engaging that, those glutes and bringing those arms up overhead. Go ahead and take it down and up. So upper and lower body working together, combining these two um, extremities. He's going to turn to the side to do a side angle where you can see that his knees are at 90 degrees, back is really straight as he comes up. He is lifting those weights as he is standing up. Perfect. Abs are tight, shoulders are going to stay back, long torso. Really good. With the squat with the overhead press, it's a little bit more challenging than starting with just your squat. So start with really light weights so that you're not gonna overwhelm the lower back, put too much pressure on those knees. Making sure that your form is perfect is the most important part with not letting those knees go out over those toes. That is a very, very crucial part of that exercise. So keep the form in check and as you get stronger, continuously add a little bit more weight to that squat and overhead press. Making sure that you can reach those arms straight overhead, shooting for eight to 10 reps, working up to 15 reps, two to three sets in your workout. How do you feel like this particular exercise has helped you in your golf game? Squats are really important in golf. You always hear people talking about getting your power from the ground. Uh, doing these squats with the overhead press has been an overall just body strengthener, uh, lower body, glutes, quads, hamstrings. Then you also just get the little shoulders in there to help you get a little extra speed, a little extra upper body strength for even some more power. Thanks so much, Zach. We appreciate your input always. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next week for the tip of the week. Hey. Nice piece with Coach Gard. Yep. Great guy. If you awesome. don't like Greg Gard, look in the mirror. There's something wrong with you. I agree. All right. And so next week, we've got the Division II state champion, Edgewood Crusaders, their coach, and their number one player, Ben Gillis. Long on time in the making, but congratulations to Joe Ring and the Edgewood Crusaders over there. And I'll tell you what, the one senior on the team, Ben Gillis, brought her home second place. They're done with the Bridesmaids trophies. They got the gold ball. Congratulations, Crusaders. We'll talk to them on our next show. T to Green supports the Balance and Believe Foundation. To learn more or donate, visit bnbfoundation.org. T to Green is brought to you by Cleary Building Corp., Nevada Pops, Northwestern Mutual, The Payroll Company, University Ridge Golf Course, and the Wisconsin State Golf Association and the Wisconsin PGA.